Skip it up and that up. So it seems that both the next gen consoles from Sony and Microsoft are going to be damn powerful. Let's get into it. This video is being brought to you by Cutting Edge Gamer. If you upgrade graphics cards often, Cutting Edge Gamer is the perfect option for you. Lease the newest graphics cards on the market, such as NVIDIA's RTX 20 series, for a low monthly payment. Click the affiliate link below in the description to find out more. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane that just has to pass by when I'm pressing the record button. Mm -hmm. So the rumor mill just keeps on churning, baby, it keeps on churning. And now, we always seem to be hearing rumors that the PS5 is going to be more powerful than the Xbox Scarlet, and it just, that seems to be perpetuating that people kind of take back the rumors, and the rumors come back out that the PS5 is more powerful than the rumors stop and the rumors continue. Welcome to Next Generation Eve. For maybe some of you who were super young when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, so you aren't familiar with this cycle, it's kind of always what happens. It's you, The rumors just perpetuate back and forth, and as time passes and we get closer to the release date of the consoles, then you, the, the facts start to come out more. But I love this stuff. I think it's interesting to speculate and look back on these videos and see what information was right and wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, Jason Schreier from Kotaku, however you feel about his political opinions and stuff like that aside, he's one of the best sources in the gaming industry. You may not like the guy, but he's on point quite a bit, and he has a bunch of inside information, and this is what he posted on Twitter about the PS5 and upcoming Xbox Scarlet. This is what he had to say. A few more next-gen tidbits. Microsoft has been well behind Sony with communication, meaning communication with third-party developers, but that probably won't matter next fall. Whispers suggest PS5 and Xbox 2 have similar specs and both sound very powerful. Uh, PS5 strategy is to be as accessible as possible, hence no load times. Now, I tend to believe this because ever since next-gen spec leaks have been, well, leaking uh you hear that microsoft and sony are basically taking the same tech from amd from the same parts bin with you know amd zen 2 processors navi gpu architecture they're both going to use ray tracing so when i heard that the ps5 was more powerful i believed it because it was coming from reliable sources but i'm just like man why would microsoft let them get the one up again and here we see information that kind of makes more sense. Why would Microsoft let that happen? They realized how much of a terrible mistake that was when the Xbox One and PS4 launched. Again, the reason why the Xbox One was less powerful is because Microsoft was trying to shoehorn in the Kinect. So to cut back costs, they made the performance of the Xbox One poorer than the PS4. I think poor is the right word, but you get my point. But now Microsoft, this generation, has learned a lot of lessons. And I just... When I really sit down and think about it, I can't see them just saying, ah, Sony, just make your system more powerful than ours. That's fine. We'll, we'll do the same thing we do with the Xbox One again. And when we can't make games look as good, we'll say we'll depend on the power of the cloud. Remember that? How'd that power of the cloud work out? I'm still waiting on that power of the cloud, Microsoft. Hasn't happened. I know xCloud and cloud gaming with Microsoft is a thing. That That's for cloud gaming, streaming games from the cloud and playing them. Microsoft, back before we had the Xbox One X and even before the Xbox One S, was saying that they were going to use the cloud for computing performance on your Xbox One for more destructible environments and better gaming experiences. And it never happened! Once the Xbox One X came out, guess what? They, they, you never heard about the power of the cloud again. Now, the whole lack of communication thing with Microsoft does still concern me. That's something that doesn't seem to be going away. Why is Microsoft not communicating with third-party developers as much as Sony? Is there something happening with the hardware behind the scenes? I hear rumors, I'm going to talk about it more in another video, that Phil Spencer basically already has an Xbox Scarlet at his house that he's playing games on. So, why are developers being left out? in the dark with the next-gen Xbox, more so anyway, at least in the PlayStation 5. So, I don't know. I mean, all these things are gonna pan out and I'm sure everything is gonna be fine when both the Scarlet and the PlayStation 5 launch, but we'll have to wait and see. Does this mean that the Scarlet's not gonna launch with as many games as the PS5? That wouldn't be good because the bigger library of games, the more appealing a piece of hardware is to people. That's why a lot of generations the least powerful console or the lesser of the two consoles in terms of performance 
always seem to be the biggest seller because it isn't always necessarily about graphics and, and high performance. It's about the games that you could get on the system. So interesting times, man. We're going to hear more and more rumors ramp up. And I love this time when next gen's around the corner because I love talking about specs because I'm a friggin' nerd. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Thank you.